What is going on supers? Welcome back to another episode of Cook Luke. In this episode, we'll be cooking my Twitter famous honey garlic chicken thigh vegetable rice extravaganza. So, let's get cooking. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is prepare your rice. Easiest way is a rice cooker. Got my rice here, that's about enough for maybe three servings in here. Always remember to wash your rice. Remember, if the water's cloudy, swoop will be pouty. If the water's clear, that's what swoop likes to hear. The first thing we're going to do here is prepare our vegetables. In this, I've got two carrots. We're going to um, uh, half moon these carrots. Thinish slices, you can blanch them if you want to, that'll be quicker but I'm um, um, going to just put them straight into the pan. And broccolini, I've got one bunch. Two bunches um, is ideal, but I only bought one bunch because I uh, didn't pick up two bunches. So that's on me, but it shouldn't be on you guys. So let's cut these up. Cutting montage. So with the broccolini, you want to take all off these um, these little leaves. You don't want those. And then with the actual broccolini itself, you want to use the whole broccolini. So you obviously want to use the top bit, and you want to use all of this stem as well because that's good. Just give them a rough choppy chop. So with the stems, cut off the uh, the bottoms because they'll be a little bit icky. And now a rough chop. Bang, bang, bang. And that's your cutting done. Now preparing is really simple. You just want to hit this with some heat, hit this with some oil. Vegetables go straight in. We'll go in and cook the vegetables um, first because they're going to take, well the carrots will take a little bit uh, long. Well that's what I like to do anyway. This is my process. So let's get into it. So once this gets hot enough, you just want to dump all your vegetables in, just like that. This boy's a little bit big, got to give them another cup. These uh, cook out until they get a little bit soft. You don't want to let them go um, until they're super soft because then it'll just take away from um, the dish and you still want a bit of crunch in, in the carrots and, and the broccolini as well. So while that's cooking, we can start preparing the chicken. So next we'll be cutting up some chicken thighs, putting them into a, well you can't really see this because it's all white, putting them into a bowl of corn flour, coating them, and that uh, we're gonna cook them uh, as well in some oil, and that's gonna give you that uh, crispy golden uh, look that we're going for. So I'm using four chicken thighs because I'll be making a big batch um, you know, for lunch and, and, and stuff like this. This, like I said, this should serve maybe three people depending on portions maybe for um, if I was having a bad day it would serve only me for dinner but chopping montage So here is my bowl of chicken. You can see that you just gotta get uh, nice and rough in there. You wanna coat all of this with uh, corn flour. So your chicken pieces, you know, you don't wanna put them too thick sort of thing. So your chicken pieces, fluff them off. They're gonna just look like that. I don't know if you can see that. So fully coated. You don't wanna just dump them in there. You want it to the hot pan. You wanna just put them piece by piece um, and make sure you're doing these in two batches because there's so much, you don't want to overcrowd your uh, pan. I'll show you a little bit of that uh, later. But as an extra bonus tip, this is all the like the sort of fatty pieces of the chicken thigh that uh, I won't be using. I'm trying to do sort of a zero waste with all my um, food scraps and stuff like that. So what I'll do with these ones is after dinner, uh, when I'm cleaning up, I'll cook these and I'll give these to, uh, once they're cooked and stuff, 
I'll give these to the pups and um, put it in their meal. And they're going to love me for that, so bonus uh, points with the dogs. All right, so as you can see, I've got a bunch of oil in here. Wait till it gets very hot. We are only going to do half of these for now. You want to lay them, I like to do like a little circle. You'll see it looks like a chicken thigh cult. If we can fit them all in, we'll fit them all in, but I don't think we will be able to. So, scorching hot. Let's go, please. If you're doing this, watch your fingers. And that's literally all you want to do. So you can see that I've still got some here. We've coated the pan, moved the oil around a little bit. And we'll wait for one side to cook, then flip them over. You can hear that sizzle, and you can see it. So this was the first one we did, so we'll flip it over. Still, you know, it could be a little bit more golden, so we'll just leave it there. Remember that these are gonna get cooked with everything else anyway, so you don't wanna overcook them too much. That's good stuff. So you want to flip them the way that you uh, put them in. So you can see how crispy these are, these are already getting. Over there. So once these are crisp as I want them, we'll put these to a, a bowl that I've got here and do the new ones. All right, as you can see, it's all cooked. We chuck in our other ones here. Nice and steady, turn the fan on. We want to put in our garlic. With the garlic measurement, it's just really whatever you want. It's a garlic honey recipe. Veggies. Rice wine vinegar. That'll just deep glaze it. And of course, honey. Two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Just coat the thing. Give it a mix. Once that's all mixed, turn it down to a simmer. You want to let this thicken up. Look at that. Beautiful. While that's simmering, you want to add one tablespoon of butter. This is um, Lurpak unsalted butter. Yeah, about a tablespoon-ish. And just mix that in and just let it just let it go to simmer town. Let it go to simmer town. And there you go. Garlic, honey, chicken, thigh, vegetable, extravaganza. Let's absolutely dig in. Bit of everything. God damn. This is the best I've made it so far. Everything just works out perfectly. Mmm. Alright. 